Hi, this is Rob from Access TV. I'm here with Kim. Hello. And we're about to play the demo of Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch, which you can get from the PlayStation Network right now. I'm going to be playing it. Uh, well, this Kim, yeah. You've already played this game loads, haven't you? Yes, I've been reviewing it for another team, and I've played about you I'd say Judas. twenty hours, and uh, I can't get enough of this game. Honestly, can't get enough of it. Um, so You're quite a connoisseur of Japanese role-playing uh, games, aren't yeah. you? And is this the best Japanese role-playing game in ages? It definitely is. It absolutely definitely is. Especially because there's been a bit of a drought this year. So um, apart from Final Fantasy XIII 2 and Tales of Graces F... Um, Which there hell should I do, Kim? Oh, you should start with um, an errand for Old Father Oak. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the best of a rather meagre offering of JRPGs this year. And so the, whole Ghibli, the whole Ghibli thing as well. Is that cool? You like Studio Ghibli? Yes, I am absolutely in love. And it, uh, it's actually uh, Studio Ghibli. I, yeah. <laughs> actually, I might I be wrong. I did go for both pronunciations. Yeah. I'll say Ghibli throughout okay. the course of this video. Yeah. And you say Ghibli. Or did you want to go the other way? I'll, I'll go the other way. Okay. Okay, so let's stick with what we started with. Okay, so uh, here's the intro uh, for the demo. It's a really kind of dark sad opening to a game. It is. And I'm, little boy's mum I'm actually surprised that they've mentioned this in the demo because, I mean, I went into the game um, without knowing kind of anything about the story, like the kind of crux of why Oliver goes to the other side. And within 10 minutes, it starts with the scene where he loses his mother. And I was like, oh my God, this is horrible. It's sort of like um, Disney's, uh, is it Disney? No, Pixar's Up. Um, I don't know if you've seen that movie. Where like it's all happy, lovely, lovely love story, and then ten minutes in, wham, dead. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. I just realised <coughs> I was supposed to be pressing X here, oh, so dear. that was quite a long, yeah, a long s screen. The art style looks amazing already. I'm yeah. two seconds into the game and I'm already loving it. I, I think that's one of the things that I love about this game is that with the Studio Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli? I'm confused now. Anyway, with the Studio Ghibli influence, I mean, you can see, it's just lush, it's crisp. <laughs> uh, what I'm noticing straight away is the dodgy translation down the bottom. No, 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 no. Okay, let me correct you on that. Drippy is Welsh. Ah, so, is how the so Welsh if you speak? read that in a Welsh accent, I'm not going to because I will offend Welsh people <laughs> everywhere with my terrible accent. Um, but he. If you are lucky, is that how the Welsh if speak? If you are lucky. You are lucky. I thought it was Sorry, Dodgy Translation. Is no, 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 no. Well. So this game, th this game was actually released in Japan in 2011, and it's not going to come here until January 2013. And the reason it's taken so long is because um, Level 5 have taken so long to localise it, to make sure that it is, you know, um, English, British, and they've got loads of kind of British accents, Welsh accents in this. And they've done a really good job. Um, there's a lot of kind of colloquial expressions and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Um, so you're about to face up against, uh, I think, one of the first bosses you meet in the game. Already? Yep. I've not even done anything yet. It's fine, it's fine. So <laughs> he, he's quite rude, this Guardian, as you'll see in a second. Oh, cute little duck. What's he going to do? I can't believe it. Bang! Him. He's punched a duck in the bum. I can't believe I'm going to fight this thing straight away. It's fine. Oliver's just a tiny little man. Look at him. He's there he is. Chance. Normally the Guardians are quite nice, but um, something's happened, so they're all a bit angry and a bit mean. So they're random battles in this game? Yes. I love random battles. Yes. I'm so pleased they're back. Yes. I'm so sick of real-time yeah. action-based battles. Yeah, battle. exactly. So guide me through this. What, okay, what so have basically I got here? you can either fight as yourself, which is the Oliver icon there, yeah. or mm -hmm. you can fight as your familiar, which is you know, sort of like a little monster that you control. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you start with your familiar, my, oh, who okay. they've called Marmite. <laughs> Um, so I if you go to mark. Cut Loose, so you can attack Cut Loose, it's like a special... Hurry I'm up, hurry up to attack him! It's cut it loose. is kind of real time, isn't it? Ah. Yeah. So Cut Loose is like your special attacks, and that costs MP, as you'll see in the top left on the blue. Have that, seven damage. Or I can run around You see, Yeah, you see these well. little things that are dropping, like the blue orbs, and then there's some green orbs behind him there. Yeah. That, uh, the blue ones restore MP, and the green ones restore HP, and I sincerely suggest that you run around and pick them up. The um, game seems you will need them. I'm going to die, Kim. Already. Run, run and get the MP. I'm run. trying. He's hitting me. He's got a far longer reach. Marmite's quite small. Okay, so try cut loose again. Have some of this. Have at you. I'm so pleased that this is a kind of a, a turn-based battle system. Yeah. I've been longing um, for something like this for ages. If you hit L1 quickly, 
because if you see that, you see that the bar around Marmite is flashing. That means he's running out of stamina. Right. So you have to swap him out, let him rest up a bit, and come here. Now, if you go to spells, because I think you're going to need this, and go to healing touch, then you can heal yourself. See, there you go. Wow, and he missed. And me. then, what does my little lantern friend do? Uh, he doesn't. He kind of just cheerleads. Just bounces around really. He just Welsh. and he chucks the things in. I got some um, white bread. Strong coffee. Yeah, what don't eat do? these yet because you'll you'll need these. But they <laughs> restore things. I can't run. Go go to spells again. And see what else you got. A Chuck fireball. a fire. Because everyone knows that you know leafy things don't like fire. Oh, I get eighteen. Have it. Have it. I might just do that. Oh, blade. defend quick, quick. Go to defend. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, this is the brilliant thing. Drippy always says knickers. It's brilliant. Yeah, so every time, like, a boss says something like a special attack, yeah. immediately go to defend, because otherwise you'll just die. <laughs> I won't die. Bosh, see? And what, how much damage would that have done if I wasn't defending? A lot. You'd, you'd be dying right now. Really? You'd, you'd be on the floor having a little cry. I feel like I need to pick up some more blue orbs, Kim. I've got no yeah, MP there's, left. There's green ones as well around the back I there. Green, green is nothing to me right now. Um, if you ever want to cancel a move, you hit circle. Okay. I think you definitely need some green. Um, and now Marmite's back in the play. So if you want to if you want to get Marmite out... Get back in there, Marmite. Get ready to not cut loose because you've not got enough MP. Just attack him. Baff him up. I'm trying. So it's sort oh. of like always juggling between defend, defend, for I'm the love of God, defend. Yeah, oh, oh no. I didn't do it quick enough. That's fine. It's oh. only 12. You had a little 12, blue orb. There you go. Still not got enough. You might want to save it for healing touch. So go and attack him. Come on. So the way to win battles really is to keep juggling between yourself and your familiars and you're going to have to swap out to Oliver now. And I'd suggest that you go for a little healing touch spell. Or defend. defend actually. Bellow, what's this? Oh, he's not even looking at you, so it's alright. He's completely missed that, hasn't he? I'm just going to go on the offensive. Oh, now you, I should be defending. Yeah. Defend! Oh, oh. That was well timed. Nice. Shut up, Guardian. Look, he's lost loads of stuff. <laughs> I love this Welsh guy. Yeah. <laughs> Now's your chance to give him a proper wall of it. I can't do a Welsh accent. No. Let's not offend pe Welsh so, people. So, uh, what's my proper wallop? Uh, so, cancel. Go to um, my t Marmite. Oh no, it's too late. He's recovered. You took too long to tell me. Oh my god! Just go pick up the blue orbs. That's the thing. You can use these bits as a chance to kind of relax and uh, catch up with your healing and that. Defend. So it is turn-based, but you still have to be pretty. Pretty nifty. Yeah. Have your wits. So about cancel me. that circle. And then just attack him. Oh, you see that golden orb? You want that? That's full of good stuff. Do I? That's yeah. come out of his mouth. Yeah. So grab that, and it'll let yeah, it'll let you do a special miracle move. And um, Marmite's one is pretty good. Get it. How do I get it? Just run into it. I'm trying. I can't get it. There you go. You got it. So yeah. slash dance. Who's gonna get it first? Oh yes. no! It might have cancelled yours. We'll see. That's what you got. Oh, it's cancelled yours. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? It's because you're not fast enough. You've got to be nippy with this. Yeah, this is the, oh, this is ridiculous. This is the fucking demo. <laughs> and I'm against a massive boss straight away. <laughs> oh, quit whinging. Love a fireball out. Yeah, I was about to. Bang. I think you've done it. There you go. You've killed nature. <sighs> How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> Oh, the experience. Oh, I love levelling up. I've not levelled up yep. since Dragon Quest in, Eight. It, yeah, in Final Fantasy XIII, too, levelling up didn't really mean anything. But in this, it really does. And you can get in and customise everything. Why is he called Marmite, Kim, for goodness sake? He's actually called Mighty as a default name, so someone clever there is, is called him Marmite. Because that's cute. What is the lantern's name? Drippy. Drippy. Drippy the Welsh Lantern. Yeah, he's the king, High Lord King of the Fairies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't actually let him speak in this because he's really he like a supposed to be a toy. Yeah, well, he is a toy, and then you cry on him, and he comes to life because yeah. that's magic. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't shown him speaking in this because um, honestly, the voices in this are brilliant. 
see Shadar there. Shadar is the big bad guy who's making everyone sad and generally being a bit mean. Do I get to kill him? Yeah. You get in to this demo? Uh, I probably, probably not. not. Probably not. <laughs> That's like 80 hours into the game. <laughs> so are there like uh, lots of side missions you can do and yes. stuff in this? Um, Every town has is full of NPCs, uh, non-playable characters, that you can get little side quests from. Thanks for... Uh, telling <laughs> me what NPC meant. Yeah, there may be people out there who don't know, they don't know the lingo. Um, so all these pages you're unlocking as well. You, you actually you have a wizard's spell book. Um, oh, this guy's brilliant. He reminds me of a duck? Jurak, the tree guardian from Dark Chronicle. Mm. Well, Dark Chronicle's if anyone, if made by level five as well. Is, yeah. Amazing game. And if anyone's ever played like Dark Chronicle, Rogue Galaxy, any of Level 5's um, JRPGs, you will definitely feel a lot of those games in this as well. What about White Knight Chronicles? No. <laughs> Forget <laughs> that one. <laughs> I'm not acknowledg acknowledging that as a Level 5 game. <laughs> this guy looks like a light switch. He's, he's the telling stone. He's wise. So we've got Duck Tree and Light Switch, <laughs> and Drippy the Welsh Lantern, yeah. and Marmite the Plush yeah. Fighter Doll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game's amazing. Yeah. In that locket, so this is a bit morbid, you get to take bits of people's heart and put it in that locket. Thank and you then actual so fleshy bits no, of heart. No. And then you give those pieces of heart. Full of <laughs> <and stuff>. No. <laughs> but then you give those pieces of heart to people who need them. Heartless people. <laughs> Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy. Come on. I'm done you talking to you now. Doctor. He's wise. You gotta let him talk to you. Tell me he knows friends. everything. I look forward to hearing of your progress. And there's a lot of stuff to progress yes, through. Sir. Let's be off, shall we? <laughs> Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Oh, I hey. love Driffy. Thank you. Telling Stone is actually essentially just a tutorial. Like he tells you kind of how to do everything. Yeah. Press X. There you go. The locket. You'll see, be seeing a lot of that during the game. And uh, yeah, like, as I said earlier, you have a spell book um, that's missing a lot of pages. But as you do missions and quests, you earn a lot of spell pages back. And I mean, I'm probably what? How many to say? Twenty hours in, and I've unlocked so many spells. It's brilliant. Like it's genuinely brilliant. I've got some weird spells as well, like uh, making bridges, a uh, secret ingredient for kind of uh, mixing food together to turn them into potions and that. I'm just going to walk really slowly and look at this game. Yes, enjoy, enjoy the world. So it what is the world like? Is it, how did you prove, is it open? Is there a world map? Is yes, there is a world map a and world map. I am yeah. so happy to say that. I mean, it's, I can't even remember the last scale, game that had one. Is it a to scale world map, like one to one scale, or is it like the old Final Fantasies where everything shrinks? It's like map? the old Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy Nine, um, where it's all kind of a bit caricature. So you've got the world map, but you're a little bit kind of big on it, and you can see enemies wandering around it, um, and you can kind of go up and attack them and that kind of thing. And, you and can then you go inside like dungeon areas yeah. like this. Yes. Um, but I can't tell you how happy I am that there's a world map. It's been so long since I've seen one in a JRPG. Oh. And you, even later on, you unlock a dragon, so you can fly around on a dragon. It's brilliant. So it's effectively like the airship of the world map. Yeah, pretty much. Are there any like big yellow Duck. chickens you can ride around? No, but there's a small yellow chicken you can punch in the face now. Like this? Yeah, a teeny bopper. It's called bopper. a teeny bopper. Yeah. Right, what do I want to do uh, on this? I'd, I, I'd go with I Mighty. Want to, I just want to cut the thing. Cut <laughs> loose. This should kill it at one go, yeah? Cut him. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's still alive. I don't know if you can hear this, but the, the poor little thing is just squeaking, like, really sadly. Like, ah, <laughs> please don't hurt me! And do I get any other familiars in the game? Lots. There are... So can you have, like, how many can you have on your team at one You time? can have three equipped with you, but you have reserves. And um, I don't know if you noticed on that... Um, save point earlier but there was a little drain pipe thing there and that's where you can swap in and out um, familiars and I, I don't know the exact number but there are hundreds of familiars and later on you can actually um, if you defeat them in battle you can capture them Let's go. so later on you can come back and actually capture this little thing it and have him fight for you reminds me a bit of Jade Cocoon mm. yeah yeah 
Um, so, I mean, it's brilliant. Like, it's just... And also, all these kind of little monsters have their own classes. So you could have, like, Mighty is sort of like a, a warrior, so he's a tank. Um, you get ones later on. There's a fairy that you unlock soon that's, um, like, a healer. Don't spoil and <laughs> You get ones that are... What's this? <laughs> it's got little shields. Oh, oh, my God, I'm running from it. Don't run, fight nice. him. He's probably got, got me in a, a back attack now. Yeah, he has. Oh, no, it's all right. A whippersnapper and a spittoon. Spittoon. I'm going to go with Oliver now. See, all the monsters are quite cute in this. I'd set fire to them. I think the whippersnapper looks weak against fire. Yeah, he is. Bang. And if you notice as well, like, all the little symbols behind the enemy's um, pictures. Um, so everyone, every enemy, every monster has a class. Um, so if you kind of battle... It's sort of like rock, paper, scissors. If you if you set like a, a star against a moon, I think it'll be beneficial to you and that kind of thing. I haven't quite worked out what's better than what yet. I think you're actually going deeper into um, deeper into the woods, and I wonder if the world maps in this. So I wonder if you should be actually if you exit, we should try and exit the map and show everyone the world the okay. world map. But you know, oh, you let your guard down. I'm just going to run away. Don't run away. I want to get to the world map. <coughs> run away. I like the way you can actually run away, whereas in... Apart from boss battles, you can't run away from, from boss, boss battles. battles. It's um, usually when I try and run away in RPGs, it just says, you can't. Yeah. If you hit R1, let me show you the map. So you need to go up. I'm going the wrong way, basically, then. Yeah. That massive fork, after I fought the boss battle, you need to I effectively go went the wrong way yeah, and wasted all this time. Yeah, you need to go where the star time. is. Go where the star is. You see the star on your mini-map. I was Follow just exploring that. the lovely leafy path. But I want, I want to show you the world map. Right, You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. <laughs> I'm going. Which way now? I've got absolutely no sense of direction. I have to look at the map Oh, again. my gosh. Don't. I don't want to get in a fight. He's coming after oh, you. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> That's what you get for not facing up to your fears. Bash him up, come on. Get some delicious wait for my XP. commands to come. Oh, yeah, because... Because uh, he got me in a... You've been taking up the back. <laughs> <laughs> There's children watching this. Oh, sorry, children. But they won't know. They'll just think I said something innocent. I love this game. Well, that was worth all the experience, Yeah, it was. It? Look, you're about to level up. Well, Mighty is. Marmite, sorry, in this game. There you go, go around the corner. Oh. <laughs> I think I think all the monsters in this are quite imaginative. And um one thing that kind of upset me in Final Fantasy thirteen too was that all the monsters in it were essentially the same monster but just a different colour depending on the region it was in. In this, like every single region you go in, there's genuinely like hundreds of different individual characters. And they're brilliant. I, I met one in a, there's a desert level later on. Um, <laughs> I like how he gets a little spell book out before he yeah. does magic. Um, but yeah, there's a little monster um, later on called a clubber cub, and it's a it's <laughs> like a it's like a lion cub in a clubbing outfit. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's brilliant. He's got little hot pants and a little waistcoat. How wonderfully Japanese. <laughs> I will say there is a very eccentric sense of humour about this game. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, come on, you're one, you're one battle away from levelling up Marmite. Oh, I'm sure there'll be another monster around here. Okay, so jump over that bit. Hop, hop, hop. And now I'll just go the other way. Yeah. The way I should have gone, really. The way you should have gone. If, if you just look on the mini-map, there's a star there. And that's always showing you where you should go, where the next interesting thing is. <coughs> Although, of course, you know, if you're like me and you just want to explore and wander around... That's, that's why I went the other way, Yeah, you, obviously. Yeah, I, I spend so far too much time, like, doing side quests and that kind of thing. Oh, I love how pretty everything is. I know, it's wonderful. I have been looking forward to this game ever since they announced it. Yeah. Which, see, which was, like, 2010, ago, I yeah. think. It's been a long time coming, but it's worth it, well worth the wait. So here we go. World map time. Wow. Oh, the music's brilliant as well. So regal. Look at it. This is what we've been waiting for, kids. So many years, us JRPG players have been denied a world map, and now we've got it. And this is a 
particularly spectacular looking world map. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at it? that. What's that up there? It's an elk one? thing. Am I probably You're probably not, far too <laughs> not tough enough to take no, that on No, definitely yet. not. I think you should go to Ding Don Dell, which is uh, <laughs> a village run by cats. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to go there? <laughs> You're probably going to get attacked by loads of things, though. Oh, oh God, it's a snake. Oh, my God. He's coming for you. He's not going to catch me. He might lose interest after a while. Yeah, he's got bored. You probably will get attacked a fair bit on your way there. What's this? Go oh, on. Some kind of Have rodent. him. Oh, these look quite tough, Kim. I might be in trouble. Get here. mighty out. Get mighty out. If you do cut loose, that attacks everyone on the field. I've oh. got enough MP. I've got no MP at all. You're, just, you're not doing very well here. How do Rob? I get MP then? Um, you can uh, provisions. I think hot coffee or strong coffee or whatever is MP. Or if you do things like counterattack and defend and that kind of thing, then um, Drippy chucks out those blue glims. If Oliver drinks strong coffee, will it restore Mighty's MP? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because your MP is linked. Yeah. See, there you go. Pretty let's much. Just get rid of Rhinosaur. Yeah, he pretty much messed him up anyway. Okay, then let's get let's get cutting loose on this other Rhinosaur. <laughs> as um as the game goes on as well, um your familiars like Mighty and all the ones you unlock later um actually level up as well, and then they can evolve into stronger monsters. I love evolving. Yeah, and then it's as like that it, other game. We yeah, can't that say. other game that we can't talk about. And then, um, as as they evolve, um, you can actually choose like Mighty later on can become like a water based um, monster or a fire one. So you can sort of decide what. We're going to sneak up on this bird. Oh, oh for goodness, sake, that's nonsense. He's a bird. He heard you. We he heard you coming. Did he hear this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mighty just absolutely annihilated them. Mighty's leveled up. Hooray! So what level does he have to get to before he evolves? Uh, I think it was... Is it a set level that they evolve at? Or well, is it it's other um, criteria you have to meet? I can't remember what level he level uh, he evolved at. But the thing is, you have to collect um, like moon drops and star drops and all that and feed them to him. Um, and then he'll evolve. So if you want, you could keep him as Mighty forever. Um, I think I might. Your village is over oh, there. Oh, I won't do that. If you go to the right, go to the right. Oh, yeah, I see the little bridge. Yeah. I only get there without getting in another fight. That bird has other ideas. <laughs> he's coming for you. Oh, no, he's taking you from behind again. <laughs> Let's go! Run, I don't mind. run. It's fine. They're not very strong, are they? So Oliver's weapon is a, a, a wand. wand? Yeah, it's a wand. When you first find it, you're given a, tw uh, a quest to look for something brown and sticky. <laughs> like a, a, a stick, Rob. A stick. I don't know what else you're thinking about. <coughs> Let's just get to this village of there you cats. Go. Yeah. I want to get in village there. Village of cats. Ding Dong Dell. It's, uh, the, it's, it's uh, ruled by a king cat who's called the Royal Meowjesty. This just game just gets better and better. That's why this game's taken so long to come over here. It's because they have to translate all the terrible puns into it. Here we go. There's probably a Japanese word for cat that works really well with the Japanese mm. word for king. So here you're going to see what I was talking about earlier about um, uh, curing people's broken hearts. So you take heart and you give heart. And you'll see. I'll let Drippy explain. First thing you need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with a piece of Oh yeah, the locket is a bit of. Stuff in it. it says I've only got two minutes fifty-six remaining. Is that just like? That's just the demo. It's the time limit on the demo. Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, I could have gone anywhere I wanted in that yeah. time. Yeah. I'll just give it a go and you'll soon work it out, man. Well, at least we got to see what Ding Dong Dell. Yes, hopefully. I'm really pleased. Find Sam and give it to him and he'll be right this I'll have to do another video where okay. I do the other mission. Yeah, because I think that one will show you what it's like to fight when you have more than one member in your party. Oh, cool. I didn't okay. mention that. You can lock up to unlock four members of your party so you can fight with four people you and did say their monsters. That. Did I? Or were you just talking about you can so four people as yeah. well as your familiars? Four people as each equipped with three familiars. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. I thought it was just Oliver and his familiars all the way so through. So go up to the one on the right. 
the guy that's yeah. <laughs> prancing so around. So here it is. He's full of enthusiasm. The other guy's lost his enthusiasm because his heart's been broken by ah. Shadar. So was he, he going out with Shadar? No. <laughs> If he was, then Shadar's a bit of a hussy because he's broken lots of people's hearts. <laughs> so he's got plenty of enthusiasm. It sounds like the Shadar is just a really good-looking man who... He's not. He's, he's a bit... I don't know. He's, he looks like a moving tentacle. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you finish all this dialogue, press square and then go to take heart. I take so heart from the enthusiastic yeah. man yep. and put it in my little locket of yep. stringy bits. Goo. That heart that we had for Dishonored. There you go. Tidy. Thanks. Like Tidy. A locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you just got to give it to our friend over by there. If only you could bottle okay, enthusiasm. So, wander over to the other guy. Look, look, he's all sad and unenthusiastic. <laughs> not for long, he's Hurry not. up, you've got a time limit. I've got a big Chat to him. locket full of stuff. Just run through you. all this dialogue because I don't want to run out of time. Okay. Blah 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 blah, 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 blah. Give him his enthusiasm. And give heart. Give heart. Give it. Give it. What happens if I take his heart? Does he just crumple into a pit he of depression? He can't do it because he's got nothing left to give you. He's a husk. Have some enthusiasm, man. Oh, we're not going to get to see Ding Dong Dell. I, trust me, kids. It's brilliant. It's full of cats. And cat well, We wouldn't want to spoil the game too much, would we? No. And obviously you can go and download this demo right now. Yep. And see Ding Dong Dell for yourself. Yep. Looks like he's back in the land of the living. Here you go, you fixed his broken What's heart. Happening? Where am I? That's fantastic. Well, 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 you're yeah. Famous, I see. So this is yes. probably gonna end I just after so these guys have their touching reunion. If a weight has been lifted Aww. from my heart, I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. He was I'm worried sorry. about him. I wasn't myself. I worry about you, Rob. But I'm back now. Maybe I should give you some I'm enthusiasm. Ready to work harder than ever. If you can find one of those magic well, lockets. <laughs> Full of squishy hearts. There we it's go. It's just going to cut us out right in the middle of that cutscene. Well, that was pretty wonderful. Yes. Yeah. That's the end of the demo version. Thanks for visiting the other world. Oh, Come and stay amazing. for longer. So, yes. Well, we're definitely going to have to try out the other one now, aren't we? Yeah. So okay. So, we'll take a break there and, and head on to the other one. Yeah. Watch out for that video. And make sure you go and download the demo of Nino Kuni right now. Do it. Otherwise, you're a fool.